Hello folks, here's an example of using the serial interface ePaper displays or the universal asynchronous receiver transmitter versions. Uh, makes for a very low overhead for the uh, controller ESP32 or 8266 and uh, these particular displays have an SD card or TF card uh, drive on the back which is useful for fonts and images. I've built a small project here's a here's the image on display now displaying weather underground data uh, it's ostensibly though it spends all its time in sleep mode as does the ESP32 or the 8266 so here's an example of it running here's the project running note the time is 1408 37 seconds I've woken up the display the LED is on at the bottom of the display the, the ESP32 has just woken up and it's reading weather underground data and any second now it's going to transfer that to the display the imagery comes from the SD card which I've transferred to the flash RAM on the display card and uh, there it is um, 10 minutes later a few seconds added um, it's remarkably quick for a serial interface I'll now go through how to connect the display to uh, an ESP32 or an 8266. Um, there's an image of it, there's a WaveShear 4.3 inch 800 by 600 pixel display unit. It's got a serial interface, so it's a standard universal asynchronous receiver transmitter interface. Runs at 115 200 board. Uh, on the left hand side are a standard set of connections. Um, very well marked um, board actually it's got um, SD card um, for image storage and you can transfer images from the card into uh, 128 megabytes of flash RAM um, in terms of those connections is reset which uh, puts the display back to a known state and you have to toggle that from low to high to low and the library functions do that for you wake up actually wakes the display after it's been put into sleep mode high low high, low high low pulse data in um, you connect that to transmit data of your controlling device data out to receive data of your controlling device ground vcc vcc runs from about three to five volts so it's a quite a wide range that's the connection to the um, esp32 very straightforward it's the minimum connections you require. Um, transmit data to receive data on the display. And um, transmit data on the display to receive data on the ESP32 ground and 3.3 volts VCC. You could use 5, but the interfaces are at 3.3 volts. So I think that's the best technical solution can be augmented to add um, wake up and uh, reset um, makes the display more versatile enables you to automatically put it to sleep and wake it up and reset it can use serial the standard serial port but that's that's used for programming the device and there is some interaction with the display if you connect the um, your programmer and all your PC and uh, the display in parallel they do interact a better solution is to use serial 2 um, which is what I've done uh, later on in the library and it prevents those interaction issues you can use a, a plug-in PC uh, serial UART adapter about a dollar each and it's the same connection transmit data to receive data receive data to transmit data VCC in ground um, and you can use WaveShare's uh, software to uh, trial the display and draw images and say hello world on it um, I've modified the library the EPD library to um, make some improvements um, if you're going to use a modified library which is in github put them in the folder where your sketch is and it'll all function correctly that's a fairly uh, I think self 
evident way of adding in the library. The first library modification that needs to be made is in epd.h and unfortunately the command um, udpate has been incorrectly spelt should be update so you could correct the spelling of that in two places so udpate becomes update save the file. That's a fairly easy modification to make in one part of the library so that's epd.h in epd.cpp um, modify the the two pins to be used for wake up and reset I've chosen 22 and 21 on the ESP32 module um, they could be anything you like I've added in now a directive for a serial 2 port so in uh, EPD init add serial 2 uh, and set the board rate 115 200 so at the moment it, it would say serial.begin um, correct the it probably doesn't make too much but it did make my system work change high to output and put the uh, wake up pin low because its normal state is to go low high low similarly on the reset pin change that from high to output and put its default state to low because its pulse is low high low um, so that makes the functions work as I say they didn't work before I made those modifications the next one to change or edit is the EPD reset and that's to slow down the reset pulse from 10 microseconds and 500 microseconds to much longer durations I found that improved the reliability of the uh, library command. Similarly on the uh, wake up command slow that pulse down as well. Uh, save the file also make the last amendment to the command which was incorrectly spelt um, so you don't have any spelling mistakes and then save the file and then you can now use serial 2 port and the wake up and reset functions correctly and the, obviously that EPD command doesn't have to be spelt incorrectly when you're doing software development. One final note then the display when updating takes about 50 milliamps and at sleep about 3 milliamps and you can remove the power and it retains the display. ESP32 takes about 74 milliamps and if you can set the right mode 5.6 microamps or just to keep noting that on a development board it will take the board itself will take um, significantly more power than the ESP32 about 22 milliamps that's it folks I hope you found that useful enjoy